Welcome to our Early Career Programs online information session. We thank you for joining us today and hope that you find this presentation a useful insight into the Masters in Management, the MIM, the Global Masters in Management, and the Masters in Financial Analysis, the MFA at London Business School. Pursuing a postgraduate program is a big decision and a personal process, which requires thought and research, and you're making a great first step in researching the right program for you by being here with us. Joining us today, we have speakers knowledgeable about the school, our programs, and the admissions process. My name is Aaron Karakshan, and I'm one of the senior recruitment admissions managers for our early career programs. Also with us today is Lisa Maltini, recruitment admissions manager for India and the Americas. So over the next hour, we'll be talking about the key benefits of studying at the school, as well as answering general questions about admissions, careers, and living in London. So we will be discussing why you may wish to study at London Business School, the structure and curriculum of our programs, the unique elements of our campus life and community, how we can help you manage your career, whether you could be one of our students, and then how to apply to our programs. Um, we will, well, I'm now going to uh, continue with this presentation and uh, start to talk to you a bit about uh, deepening your research in postgraduate management programs at top business schools. We'll also help you to look into detail at a variety of factors that will influence your decision. Um, say, for example, does the school have a strong brand and top caliber faculty? Uh, does it have an active community, a supportive network, and a fully dedicated career services, creating opportunities? Because at London Business School, we take pride in having developed these attributes to the highest level. So, uh, a big component of the school experiences our location in the very heart of London. Uh, you may already know why London is such a great city, but as an LBA student, you start to see it in a different light. From a practical perspective, London is a great travel platform, and our time zone enables us to do business with Asia and Australia in the morning, Europe and Africa during the day, and South and North America in the afternoon. On a more local level, we are only a few minutes away from most Fortune 500 companies' international headquarters across a variety of sectors, from startup firms to global banks to giants of industry, which ensures fantastic opportunities to learn from guest speakers and network with recruiters. And of course, London is fun. Few cities can match for its variety in culture, art, sports, and nightlife. At OBS, we truly believe that our city is a fabulous place to work and our school a fantastic place to study. We also believe that excellence can be measured in the high quality of eclectic and friendly student body, ambitious and successful individuals from very academic and professional backgrounds, who will step up to be heard in our community and become a class or student club representative, a student association board member, or a school ambassador. Reflecting the fact that most of you here today will come from all over the world, the members of our community, of our community the course content, our networks and the opportunities we offer are all global. Ninety percent of our students at the school come from more than 130 countries. Our faculty members from more than 30 countries. Each year, through the regional clubs and during our cross-cultural event tattoo, students get the opportunity to share their local culture and business practices. Some of you here today may not know all the details of the MIM or the MFA, but may have come to know the school due to our sister programs. The MBA being ranked in the top five by the Financial Times since 2004 and our Masters in Finance has been ranked number one for the past three years. We are pleased to share that the Masters in Management, ranked for the first time in the Financial Times last year, has now jumped four places to rank six, making it still the number one program in the UK. We are proud to have built a strong brand, recognisable around the world and in many industries. Although rankings do not drive our strategy, they do ensure that the brightest, most talented students from around the world Students who end up sitting alongside you in a lecture and at club events enter into our community to share with you their experiences, passions and motivations. We often hear students saying they learn as much from each other during their time on the programme and are a valuable resource in your learning journey. Uh, our 40,000 alumni live across 150 countries and through 104 international alumni clubs and they stay closely connected with the school, helping for interviews, fundraising, and corporate. 
to Zero took part in our worldwide alumni celebration this year. Having alumni around the globe has many benefits, helping you to relocate abroad and giving you insights into the new field of business in different locations. The strength of this network will support your career and life choices, both in London and around the world. We have a campus in Dubai, partner schools in New York, Hong Kong and Shanghai. Each year students participate in numerous careers and offer balanced excellence. They research, consult, and teach, bring to the classroom their real-life business experience and connections. They also share their insights and views in newspapers and magazines from around the world, as well as our very own London Business School Review, which you can download from our website. Their research is important to our students as it becomes learning material inside the classroom across our programs. I hope this has given you a small insight into what we think makes London conducting your postgraduate study research and you're looking for any number of factors from curriculum to career support, location to student experience. And when we tailored our courses, you can see on the screen right there, based on our experience in management education, advice from our faculty and also the demand and feedback from recruiters, we look to create a real blend of academic strength and practical focus. We do aim to bridge core knowledge with practical skills such as networking, presenting and other interpersonal communication skills to create the right business awareness that you need to excel in the corporate world. How do we teach this content? Through interactive learning such as case studies, company visits, through intensive career support and guidance as well. Our aim is to give you an inspiring experience on the program using real life interactive learning tools that you so that you will start your career with the skills you need in your field of choice. And as you can see on the screen, we have one year in Shanghai at Freedom School of Management, and also our very specialized masters in financial analysis, which really, really focuses on finance. So we'll walk you through these programs right now. And on our next slide in front of us is an overview of the Masters in Management here in London. The MIM, as we call it, begins in September and it carries on over three very intense terms. Students are busy job involvement, your job, job search as well, and your personal commitments. The academic year is packed with activities in and outside the classroom. The days are full and intensive to offer students a complete immersion in the topics taught, but there is also time for self-directed study, practice and reflection. Economic issues, understanding strategy as well as learning analytical marketing tools. And turn three helps you see the bigger picture by tying up your required knowledge and giving you more time to take your two electives as well. And we'll talk about the electives in a minute. On top of all of the academics that we just mentioned, our students also engage with what we call the PDP, our personal development program, which focuses on the soft skills needed in the workplace, such as key communications and problem solving skills. These courses are delivered by external specialists and they support your success at job interviews and in your future role. All students will attend a set of core professional development courses, as well as choose topics uh, amongst our portfolio of sign-up modules that are maybe closer to their heart. Examples of the courses that we offer are project management, international business etiquette, design and delivery of presentation, sustaining creativity, and how to network properly. The current 2016 class attends lectures in three streams of 79 students, engaging faculty and classmates in challenging discussion. The students then develop an in-depth understanding of the same topic in their seminar groups and then led by these seminar groups, led by teaching assistants, enable, them, um, enable the students to work through practical problem sets and revisit the lecture material as well. Throughout the year, we also hold uh, workshops, computer simulation exercises and individual assignments as well. 
Grading of this course is based on the combination of class participation, group work, individual work, and exams. While there are midterm and final exams, depending on the subject, there is no final project or dissertation. And as you can see, the mid-year is very, very, very intense and very, very busy. Some of you might consider doing a two-year program, and some of you also may have an interest in Asia. And if that is the case, then you can look at attending our Global Masters in Management. So the Global Main <coughs> really is a continuation of the Masters in Management. So students who join the, the Global Main and uh, will continue on after their first year that we just described earlier to spend a second year in Shanghai, receiving a Master's in International Business from Fudan School of Management. This program is aimed at students with a strong interest in Asia and Europe and who have a desire to build a global career. It will allow you to acquire vital knowledge of the global business landscape and also develop a deeper understanding of business practices in Asia. Immersed in what may be a new culture for you, you will gain unprecedented access to Chinese companies and networks and learn how Eastern and Western businesses can forge powerful working partnerships. How will you do this? Well, you'll be told by students' worst class faculty, and the year two curriculum that you can uh, see on the screen uh, will see students taking three core courses and a minimum of three electives. Courses including cross culture management support. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Courses including cross-cultural management support you in building the skills to communicate successfully in a cultural diverse workplace at home or abroad, and also help you build the best practice negotiation skills that you need to use in a variety of cultural environments. The Global Business Management course focuses your learning on the international dimensions of strategy and how to formulate those successful strategies in an increasingly complex environment. And your final core course of business law and ethics challenges you to deepen your understanding of the legal and ethical implications of doing business in China, focusing on business organization law, FDI law, and trade law. Electives on the global mean include entrepreneurship and innovation, advanced marketing, big data and e-commerce, supply chain and logistics management, and luxury brands management. During the year, you will also be immersed in language tuition. Fluency in Mandarin is not a requirement for the course, but it's highly encouraged and will help you also function on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, you will also take part in real-world projects through Fudan's Business Project Lab, working with a team to solve challenges based on the company's needs. You may be challenged with developing an internationalization strategy, analyzing a new market entry, creating a new business model, a new sales and marketing strategy, um, or also looking at uh, providing commercialization recommendations or assessing the competitive landscape. So quite a lot to look at here in the project lab. Students who will uh, attend the Global Mail will also uh, take part in global immersion field trips with possible locations including Thailand, Singapore, Hong Kong. Then we will do corporate visits, on-site seminars with local corporate employers and alumni and academic visits to a local university and will provide you another opportunity to get exposure to a different the year of the global means your thesis, which is something quite different from the Masters in Management in London, where there is no thesis to write. There is one to write um, when you go and study in China. And you will be tasked to apply what you've learned in practice to your thesis. You will work closely with mentors to complete uh, this thesis as part of a company project. It will be written in English, but we are required to start in Chinese, so you will be able to put your language skills to good use. The career support of Fudan will also provide you support. Um, building on your career skills from the year in London, you will develop a strong understanding of the Asia Pacific market and the way business professionals work, working with entrepreneurs, senior executives, scholars, and professionals from around the world to prepare you for your career as soon as you graduate. You will also have the chance to engage with industry experts who will facilitate individual group or mock interviews and provide guidance on how to negotiate terms of the, your job offers. So once again, this is a very, very comprehensive program where you have the time to develop your career goals, especially if you're looking to work in or with Asia over the two years. But if you already know what your career goals are, you're very focused on finance, and you would like to do uh, a program that is
very intensely going to prepare you for a career in finance. And you could look into doing a newly launched master's in financial analysis, a program specifically designed to fit the needs and trends of the finance marketplace within a diverse environment, creating a stimulating learning process for young professionals. We are looking to recruit for next year a class of 70 top graduates from finance, accounting, economic, uh, economics, engineering, math, and science backgrounds, and we have a strong interest in developing a career in finance. This program, which was started in September 2016, includes a detailed study of the core finance and accounting disciplines and trends, in addition to exposure to economics and management science and operations content. It is structured around the five fundamental pillars of finance, that is accounting, asset management, corporate finance, financial econometrics, and financial markets. The MFA will incorporate the most current financial software, such as Bloomberg, MacLeod, or Morningstar, and the content will also be applied and data-driven, teaching you about markets, who are the main players, and what are the major strategies in these markets that these players are implementing. As you can see, some of the elements of the program will over overlap with the Masters in Management and Global Masters in Management as well, offering a shared experience between all of our early career students. And there is a lot more information about this program on our website. We now have a full uh, Masters in Financial um, brochure that you can download. So if you want to learn more about the MFA, I recommend that you visit our website as well. Right, so we've had a quick overview of uh, all of our programs here uh, in our early careers portfolio. And we wanted to maybe dig a bit deeper into other areas that are shared within these programs that we think our early career students can benefit from uh, on top of the academics. Studying at LBS, you will be fully immersed in the business school environment. There is no undergrad here on campus, and that's quite different from your experience at university already. Students will have the opportunity to tailor your, uh, their curriculum by participating in elect electives. Um, new students can choose to immerse themselves in new topics that are relevant to their career interests, and that may include subjects not covered in depth during your core courses, for example, supply chain or sports management. And then those students will be looking to specialize for those in areas of finance that hold their interest. Students will be sitting alongside MBAs, Masters in Finance students, Executive MBA students, allowing for a truly distinctive opportunity to engage in class discussion with students from across all career levels. And although everyone here has different levels of experience, it is, you know, they're sitting together and they have, they're here because they have the motivation to excel in business and are really keen to share knowledge and expertise, uh, and that is really a unique offering of the school. Students also work very closely with their assigned study groups of five or six people on assignments, cases, and projects. Um, study groups are um, created on purpose so that gender, country of origin, GMA or GRE, undergraduate degree topic, and languages spoken are different. And Study groups change on a twenty basis, so you will have to learn to work very closely with a team of people that are very different from you, and you will have to be very, very efficient at this, because a term you know, only lasts three months, so you have to start again in the next term, and force those bonds, and force that sort of trust within a team, uh, and that's a really fantastic exercise that prepares you for working in teams later on in real life. We also have a very active community life here on campus, and we have up to 85 active student clubs, spanning four categories, professional clubs, regional clubs, sports clubs, and social clubs. Any one of our clubs could play an important role in your future. For instance, the professional clubs allow you to learn about different industries that are relevant to your future career, while the regional clubs give you an insight into what it could be like working in a specific part of the world or with a different culture. All clubs organize numerous training sessions, guest speaker talks, annual conferences, fun social events as well, sports tournaments, and treks abroad. Clubs also hold a large number of events, offering student access to industry experts, such as the Women in Business Conference, the India Business Forum, Africa Day, the Tech and Media Summit, TEDx, or the Art Investment Conference, just to name a few. Clubs will give you opportunities to demonstrate your leadership potential if you, step up as a, if, you, if you step up as a representative, as well as offering you great networking opportunities with students from other programs, other programs such as the MBA. A more formal opportunity to do that is also offered in the form of mentorship. 
as an early career student, you can request to be mentored by an MBA or MIF student, as well as alumni of our programs. These mentors will help you guide uh, you uh, as you start your year on campus. Our MIF students also have regular contact with the very experienced Sloan's who support their business immersion rate project. And I want to talk a bit more about business immersion rate. It's a fantastic opportunity to immerse yourself into the re real business world. It's five days of company visits around London in February each year. And it focuses on creating networking opportunities while gaining a deeper understanding of what makes businesses tick. This week allows students uh, the uh, opportunity to discover a variety of companies and learn about the way they operate and the challenges they may face. All of those visits are held at companies' offices, so you also have the chance to experience a variety of, work of, of workspaces and get a sense for their own corporate culture. Just to name a few uh, companies that have uh, participated in Business Immersion Week in the past few years, that includes BCG, McKinsey, BlackRock, Nomura, Color Capital, uh, the TV Capital, Disney, Google, J&J, L'Oreal, BBC, and also the London Stock Exchange. The scope of Business Immersion Week is extended to our global immersion field trips, which gives students the opportunity to travel abroad to learn about how business is, is done in that particular region. Students this year have had the opportunity to travel to Paris, Milan and Munich, Silicon Valley. Uh, this year they will go for the first time to Mumbai and Bangalore, and also Shanghai. As mentioned earlier, our global team students will also visit Thailand, Singapore, Hong Kong in their second year. What, what we call the GIFs, the Global Immersion Field Trip, what they entail is corporate visits on site, seminars with local corporate employers and alumni, and also academic visits to local universities. And that provides you another opportunity to gain exposure to a different way of doing business, to a different cultural environment. You will meet local students, exchange ideas, and build on your existing global network to um, you know, create more connections with industry specialists. We know for a fact that the trip to Silicon Valley last year was extremely popular. Students had the chance to spend a day at uh, Stanford in a design center. They went to visit Electronic Arts, Apple, Google. It was an amazing experience. And I'm sure the mid 2016 this year are looking forward to visiting more places again this year. Right, so we now have a good overview of um, what our programs can offer you. And I want to Maybe for uh, my final couple of slides, I want to maybe talk to you a bit more about uh, why we might want to do all this and um, the idea of developing your career through these uh, programs. Um, I imagine that a lot of you are wondering, okay, what kind of support am I going to get if I come to London Business School in terms of planning for my career? And we're very delighted to uh, talk to you today about our career center and what the team can do for you. And they do understand that students on the name, on the MFA, are certainly motivated to find a great job upon graduation. We have career center representatives who focus entirely on the early career programs and are able to draw on the vast wealth of experience of the 30 sector specialists in the wider career scene. As a student, you will receive the tools and techniques you need to identify the career that is the best fit for you, equipping you with the right skills that you need to sell yourself in applications, perform well at interview, and beyond. In addition, job application preparation, uh, you know, um, the team really is there to help you understand your strength, identify where your skill set can be utilized, a skill set that maybe you haven't realized you already possess. You may have noticed earlier in our curriculum slide, we run a dedicated skills training program, which along with resources, networking events will support you throughout the year. We meet with you as, as you know, we try to meet with as many of you as possible very early on to set your career goals. As you may know, deadlines for some of the finance and consulting uh, graduate programs are very early in the school year. That could be applications in August, September, October. So we do our best to get you quickly re ready for these uh, applications and interviews. Term one is certainly the busiest. You're juggling your academics, new, camp new campus life, and job search. So we make sure that we give you a really strong skills training program that follows the job application process. Uh, it kicks off during orientation, uh, will help you understand uh, different sectors. 
for instance, what are the growth variables in finance, in consulting, in the corporate world. And we also will give you additional workshops to help you develop your CV, your cover letters, understand how to fill in an application form, prepare you for interviews and assessment centers, and also will help you strengthen your confidence in building your personal brand and learning how to network efficiently. We also have a peer leader program that offers a number of sector-specific interview workshops, and that gives you the opportunity to get career advice from MBAs and Masters in Finance students who are professionals with a number of years of experience. I've talked a lot about the first term because, of course, a lot of it happens quickly, but all of this support, you know, this support from the career team continues throughout the year. And um, for those of you who are interested in other jobs, say in technology or marketing, healthcare, um, a lot of these applications will come a bit later, so that's why the support continues throughout the year. We have a lot of online resources as well in our Career Central website, from details on how to prepare for a specific interview to a job board where up to 900 graduate roles are posted annually. We have databases in the school library. We also help you understand how to um, cope when you are asked to fill in graduate um, training tests and assessment centers. Um, in this next slide, or in this slide actually, you can see the sectors that our mean 2014 graduates went into. Obviously, we don't have any data for the MFA yet because it's launching this year, but you can see um, on our website as well a full and broad report for the mean 2014 graduates. So as you can see, it's an even split between finance, consulting, and other type of industries, which could include energy, um, media, technology, uh, healthcare, family businesses, manufacturing, retails, quite a broad uh, a range of sectors here that our students can go into. And as you can see for, for in, on the next slide, throughout the year the students will be able to attend on-campus company presentations, also conduct office visits across a variety of industry sectors, uh, especially through our dedicated career week that happens in term one in October. And these are excellent ways to connect with the companies that you can see on the screen and understand whether or not they're the right company and industry for you. During the last academic year, our students have had the opportunity to meet with over 120 recruiters at both specific events uh, and also wider cross-program school events, such as our Industry Evening or FINCO, which is our financial consulting our recruitment event. On this slide, you can see a selection of the companies who have made offers to our graduates since the program began in 2010. Companies in sector ranging from consulting to financial services to energy to FMCG. All right, so that was a lot of information given to you right there about what are our programs about, what are the, the um, specific elements that make our program unique, such as that sort of um, opportunity to really connect with students across uh, other uh, programs through mentorships or electives, through trips, through visits, We've also talked to you about the support we're going to give you to be able to build your career. But now, I'm going to pass the mic back to Anne, who's going to talk to you more about how can you apply to the course if now you are completely interested in um, dedicated to apply to one of our programs. Thank you, Lisa. So now that we have discussed the school and our program in detail, um, as Lisa said, I'm going to talk to you through a bit about how to apply to the program and the next steps you may need to take. Um, well, I mean, the first thing you should be considering are what do you need to become an LBS student? Yes, we do have minimum entry requirements, a degree equivalent to a UK21, GMAT or JOE minimum of 600, uh, 650 on the MFA, uh, less than one year of professional postgraduate experience, or less than two years of non traditional business experience. Students come from a well rated backgrounds in the MIM in terms of nationality, study discipline, and work experience. And it creates a very unique and interesting learning environment. Meeting the entry requirements is where the student similarities end. And as you can see from the four profiles on, on the screen, they are all giving examples of people who come from different backgrounds, who have done different things, but also go on to do many different things. So I'm going to give you a tiny bit of time to just read through these profiles. So, before moving on to what the application process looks like for our programs, we'd like to share some general advice about considerations you may wish to reflect on prior to beginning your application. 
On this slide, you see some of the key areas we look for applicants to demonstrate in their application, including an awareness of what qualities you'll bring to the program and what skills you may need to hone. Your commitment to the program and school demonstrated through research and a desire to succeed academically and professionally. An interest in working in culturally and experientially diverse teams and a desire to learn from those around you and share your experience to support the learning of others. Along with these considerations, before submitting your application, we also recommend that you carefully research each program and school you may be interested in applying to. We strongly encourage you to speak with admissions teams and current students and try and visit the campuses if you are able to do so. I mean, after all, you do want to see where you'll be spending the next year of your life. You should also talk about your decision with those close to you, particularly if someone else will be funding your studies. Also, if this will be your first time away from home for an extended amount of time, you want to discuss with family, friends and significant others how the distance may affect your relationships and how you cope with this change. Reflect upon your research and discussions. Start thinking about the reasons why you are taking this step and where it will lead you. Do research costs and funding options. Choose a postgraduate program is a big decision, a big financial and time commitment. So you need to be fully confident in your decision. Now once you've researched schools and programs, spoken with your family and friends about your options and made a decision, it will be time to prepare your application. Each postgraduate program has a different application process and to prepare for ours, you'll need to do the following. First, register with our online application system to gain access to the application to the program of your choice. You can log on and off the application as often as you want, so you can take a look at it today and spend the next few weeks working on it until you're ready to submit. We do recommend that you take your time and submit only once you're certain that you're submitting an application that is truly reflective of your voice, motivations and calibre. Please note that you can only apply to one of our programs at the same time. Uh, we require a CV, which we would ask you to keep to one page if possible. You may also wish to use our CV template, which is available on our website. It's very important that you take the time to think about the essay questions that we require you to write, as there may be multiple topics within each question. This is your time to tell us who you are outside of your test scores and grades. So do your research, know your strengths, and tell us a story. Tell us about your aspirations, your motivations, and what makes you who you are. We do also require the GMAT or GRE, and you must take on these tests prior to submitting your application. These tests evaluate a specific skill set and are important tools used to measure an applicant's aptitude for graduate management study. And it also allows us to distinguish between candidates using the same standardised tool. So in the moment, we do look for scores in the range of 600 to 800, and we require that you take all sections of the test. So we will assess your verbal, quantitative, IR, and analytical writing scores. The minimum score that we look for is 600. So if you're taking GRE, you should aim for a minimum section score of 160. If you're planning a career in top tier consultancy, we would recommend that you do take the GMAT, because the companies will be looking for this score. MFA applicants should aim for a GMAT of 650 and GRE scores of 165 and above. Now, if English is not your native language, you may be required to take an English test such as the TOEFL, IELTS, Cambridge CAE, or CPE, or the Pearson Test of English. You may be exempt from taking this test if your entire undergraduate degree was taught in English and you can provide evidence of this, or if you have lived in an English speaking country for at least two years. Now, although many of you have not completed your degree prior to, prior to applying for the program, you will need to submit a copy of your university transcript and grades that is current at the time of when you submit. Finally, we will require two references, and if possible, we would like to see one academic and one professional reference, from the internship, for instance. We use an online reference system to contact the referee directly, and we will not accept references that are sent by other means. It is important you select referees you know you well, and you can comment on specific questions about their interactions with you in the workplace or classroom. The title doesn't matter, but rather how well the referee knows you. It also gives us an indication of your ability to build networks. So with all this information, your application is ready to be submitted. But before doing so, please note that we will not process your application until all supporting documents are received. So it's important you have everything ready by the time of submission. On our website, we provide recommended deadlines to support your application timing, and decisions are made on a rolling basis. 
In those cases, you will receive a final decision within six weeks after submitting your completed application, uh, eight weeks during peak period. Interview decisions will be communicated within this time frame, generally within two to three, week, three working weeks of submission of the completed application. We do run a real admission process, so as much as we run and have recommended deadlines, you can actually put an application in at any time during the year. Applicants who are selected to interview must all conduct, all, must conduct a face-to-face -face interview with either a member of our alumni or a member of our recruitment admissions team. Uh, if you are located in the UK or continent of Europe, you will be asked to travel to London. Otherwise, you will aim to conduct your interview in a location you are able to easily travel to. As I mentioned, our alumni conduct these interviews locally, and occasionally we may conduct interviews over Skype for easy logistics. Interviews are held over a three to four week period, after which time final decisions are set. Uh, once interviews are conducted, the admissions committee will review the application for a final time, and candidates will then receive a decision based on their profile and interview feedback. All final decisions are communicated via email. Those who receive an offer will become admits and will have access to our portal network and receive support from a variety of sources before they join us in September. Detailed information about this process is available online and we're always happy to receive any queries you may have. If you have any questions regarding your eligibility or are unsure whether this is the right program for you, um, Please feel free to submit your CV through the upload button on our website and send your queries to nim at london.edu or mfa at london.edu. The admissions team will then provide you with feedback and you will then be able to take the next steps you need to do. So thank you very much for your attention. This now concludes our presentation. Uh, we'd like to thank you for all joining us today and hope that this presentation has answered all of your questions about London Business School and the other career programmes that we have here. If you do have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact us 